Within every being lies the residue of an unfathomable genesis. Today, we delve into an age-old question. Where did it all begin? The origin of life has perplexed humanity for millennia, yet one extraordinary concept stands out, the primordial soup. It is a realm of chemical wonder where some suggest the universe mixed its first batch of life's ingredients. But is this simply science, or could a touch of the divine also be at play? Imagine a young Earth, a hostile world of volcanoes and storms, its atmosphere a cocktail of gases utterly different from our own. No oxygen, but a potent mix of methane, ammonia, hydrogen, and water vapor. Scientists theorize that within this chaotic brew, something extraordinary began to stir. Bombardment from cosmic rays, volcanic heat, and intense lightning storms acted like cosmic chefs. They provided the energy to transform these simple elements into something more complex, the building blocks of life itself. This is the crux of the primordial soup theory, not literal soup, but a rich broth of organic molecules. Over countless eons, these chemicals might have reacted, merged, and grown more complex. Step by step, perhaps within hot springs or deep sea vents, life's blueprint began to emerge. From this soup, the first organisms might have arisen, primitive cells capable of self-replication. The primordial soup theory is not without its fair share of criticism. Some argue that it paints an overly simplistic picture for something as complex and miraculous as life. They point out the vast number of variables involved, the sheer improbability of the necessary ingredients forming spontaneously in the right quantities and combinations. They question the ability of such a chaotic environment to foster the delicate and intricate dance of life's first steps. However, scientists counter these arguments by pointing to several intriguing discoveries that lend credence to the theory. For one, we found amino acids, vital to protein formation, within meteorites. This hints that some of life's basic ingredients might be delivered from the cosmos. In labs, researchers have also successfully recreated conditions similar to those of early Earth, producing the organic building blocks that would be necessary within the soup. These experiments add weight to the theory, suggesting that the ingredients for life may have been present throughout the universe, waiting for the right conditions to come together. The discovery of complex organic molecules in interstellar space further strengthens this notion. It suggests that the universe itself may be a giant cauldron of life-giving ingredients, and that Earth was simply the place where these ingredients coalesced into the first living things. The famous Miller-Urey experiment in the 1950s demonstrated this very thing, showing how amino acids could spontaneously form under the right conditions. Science offers us a compelling foundation, but for many, the primordial soup presents an intriguing intersection of the natural and the divine. Various faiths and mythologies speak of creators shaping the first humans. The Bible describes a place called the crucible. Could this, in fact, refer to the primordial soup? The image of a crucible, a vessel in which elements are transformed by intense heat, resonates with the idea of the primordial earth, where raw materials were forged into the building blocks of life. This potential connection between science and faith is a fascinating notion. It suggests that the origin of life may be more than just a biological accident. Perhaps there was a spark of something more, a guiding hand in the grand tapestry of existence. Biblical imagery of humans molded from clay or dust tantalizingly mirrors the organic nature of life arising from the Earth's elements. Is this merely a poetic analogy, or does it hint at something deeper? Whether solely through scientific processes or a blend of science and the divine, an undeniable truth emerges. From this humble, turbulent beginning arose the breathtaking tapestry of life. The bacteria, plants, animals, and indeed, we ourselves owe our existence to this cosmic recipe brewed billions of years ago. The primordial soup wasn't just a vat of chemicals. It was a crucible of possibility. Within it swirled the potential for everything from the simplest life form to the most complex organism. Perhaps it was here that the very first spark of consciousness ignited, the precursor to sentience and the ability to experience the world around us. Even with our growing understanding, the primordial soup remains a realm of profound mystery. For instance, how did those early organic molecules assemble into true cells with the sophisticated self-regulating processes we see in life today? What bridged the gap between non-living matter and the first self-replicating organisms? The very nature of DNA and the complex code it holds within is a puzzle. Could it have formed organically within the soup, 
or does its intricacy hint at a guiding intelligence? And perhaps the most profound question of all, are we alone in the universe? If the Earth's primordial soup could cook up life from such basic ingredients, could the same process be happening elsewhere? Are there other worlds teeming with organisms born from their own unique cosmic broths? The quest for understanding our origin is woven into the core of what it means to be human. The primordial soup, at the nexus of science and spirituality, offers a breathtaking glimpse of the extraordinary chain of events that led to our existence. While some of its mysteries might forever elude us, the beauty lies in the pursuit of knowledge. Perhaps, within our ongoing studies of life's humble beginnings, we'll discover truths not only about our past, but our potential future among the stars. Did this journey into the primordial soup stir your own thoughts and questions? Let us know in the comments below. And if you found this exploration fascinating, don't forget to like and subscribe for more mind-expanding content.